Are you awake, Michael? I'm starting to wake up. <laughs> bunch of, Look bunch at of, your eyes. A bunch of ideas popped into my head recently. Oh. 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 And I had to write them down right away because they would pop out. So that's why I have notes. I should be able to do this extemporaneously, but no luck at this. There's no extemporaneous. Anyway, what's that mean? This is all about this is all about That's Michael good. and Hilda, and so we want to make some okay. comments, and uh, then we'll have dessert. But so hurry up, Jack, hurry up. So keep the comments short. Keep the comments short. Now you probably all know. <laughs> you better be nice. You probably know that Michael and Hilda are going to Shady Valley Restaurant. <laughs> oh, they they no. keep saying Emerald Heights. You know, Emerald Shh. Heights and Shady Valley are two different things. Oh. But uh, I, like it. I discovered in my extensive research that Shady Valley Rest Home is right behind. <laughs> Same management, but what they do is they hold the candidates for Emerald Heights there for a while to assess their ability to come to the, the better place. And if, if they're a little off center, then they, they have to retrain them. Is it a Stephen King novel? <laughs> So, uh, I, I have taken the initiative, uh, Hilda, to write a letter of introduction to the management of, of, of Emerald Heights and Shady Valley. All right. And uh, I decided they had a right to know certain things ahead of time, based on our long friendship. And I told them that Michael is soft-spoken, very calm, treats people kindly, and the only thing they need to watch out for is his extensive questioning on a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the management needs to be prepared for. And uh, one thing I, I told them to notify the wait staff at the dining room all about that was, he will have one question for them, and is it, it's, is it spicy? <laughs> is it well done? Is and, it well uh, done? <laughs> and I advised him not to have any Tabasco on his table, because the slightest hint of it could put him into a faint. <laughs> now, Hilda is another problem. <laughs> I told the management that uh, Hilda may well try to revolutionize the entire operation. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, you know, she could frighten some of the residents. <laughs> She would immediately create a beehive of activity <laughs> at Emerald Heights and Shady Valley. Uh, but I suggested to him, or her, whoever, that they might consider having her serve as the assistant manager in charge of recreational activities. Oh, yeah. And Michael would be her secretary. <laughs> because Michael is very used to take orders <laughs> and complete his list of to-dos that she would write down. She would have an office, he would be outside fielding questions, etc., and letting only a certain number of people in to see the assistant. <laughs> The gatekeeper, yes. The gatekeeper, yes. Yeah. But one, one little tidbit I discovered in looking on their uh, email, gave, I mean their website, gave me a, an insight into what may be happening there. And there was a story in the little website uh, column about, there was a one half mile trail 
developed on the property now listen to this i want to get it right this trail was started in nineteen ninety four and finished in nineteen ninety seven <laughs> I have two, two conclusions. <laughs> One, Larry Scott was not in charge. <laughs> and two, Michael and Hilda, you are moving into the slow lane. <laughs> slow lane. Everything I say from now on is precedented on the slow lane idea, which you've got to get used to. And uh, I, uh, <laughs> I decided that after that what three-year development of a half a mile trail, they could come in and, you know, get things moving a little bit and create some other trail. Another half mile. So, <laughs> So my recommendation is that you consider starting a trail committee, and you know, and, and you know, expanding it to three quarters of a mile. And uh, Michael could lead the group, you know, and you could have the bullhorn and the whip to keep it going. Uh, Anyway, there's a... Um, well, you know, the thing is, at the end of the trail, they have the buses waiting. <laughs> I thought that maybe the, the slowness of that project was caused because of the insertion of the handrails and the... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is just what I told management. Now on the side, I'm giving you some recommendations. Okay. You can take notes if you'd like. Um, I think you could start your own uh, version of Dine and Discover. But this time I would call it Dine and Doze. <laughs> You couldn't really have a speaker that did the 500 mile trek that Dean Nadell did, but you might find someone that actually walked the long <laughs> and they could tell of their experiences. <laughs> I think if you, if you develop a dine and dose uh, program, then you probably ought to limit your speakers to 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And I thought you could reinvent the sock hop. You know, they're involved in the sock hop at the oh, beach yes. club, and they do all that fancy stuff. It's very impressive. But if you did a sock hop over there, you could just tone down the music a little bit, and you could call it a sock slide. <laughs> now, now, Zumba is another story. I would highly recommend that you not start a Zumba group at Shady Valley West Home or Emerald Heights. <laughs> Again, you could have you could have soft flute music playing and you could offer and oh you could do everything in slow motion in Zumba rather than the heavy duty. Oh, and oh look you, at those moves. <laughs> <laughs> You could offer uh, yummy treats afterwards, you know, and you could call it Yumba. Yumba. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yumba. 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 The quilt group you undoubtedly will start. 
Oddly <laughs> poses no risk. However, some, some training may be in order. The ladies at Shady Valley may not be skilled at quilting and talking at the same time. <laughs> And I, I would just suggest that the Port Ludlow ladies that you're used to uh, can do that. And, and perhaps you could offer a workshop in quilting and talking at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you, they can multi, I mean, these women can multitask whether they're doing their nails and, and writing a novel. They can still have a <laughs> <laughs> And Michael, some advice for you. Oh. What about if she's going to take them to a store? That's, that's what I'm coming oh, to. Oh, excuse me. It is up to you to secretly let these ladies know that if Hilda Wait suggests... Wait a minute. If it's secret, you don't let them know. But a secret from her. You let these ladies know that if she suggests a quilting trip somewhere, that they will not bring any credit cards or cash <laughs> because her enthusiasm for the fabrics she sees will cause them to buy multiple things of fabric that they neither want nor can use. <laughs> A stash. <laughs> oh, he's got the church. <laughs> and and Rilda, what about starting a garden club? You're going to miss your little, little property and, and taking care of it. You're telling Michael what you know, uh, you, uh, I can remember a few things you told Michael one time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I hope you not to trim the bush more than four and a half inches and you bit it five. And so you learn. I did have the And there's also a story. And there's also a story about him trimming a a have feather it. plant. Oh my gosh, yeah, right. you were in deep trouble. <laughs> <laughs> true, but true. you know, uh, you speak truth. <laughs> you probably want to start with slow growing plants over at Shady Valley because you know they, 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 they won't have to. <laughs> 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 but above all, you must start a hiking trail. And uh, you what know, about half mile trail? <laughs> uh, you can't do the traditional hikes that you're you're used to, but you could do a urban hike going from the main office, say, to the exercise room, to the restroom, uh, uh, and then have a rest. <laughs> you could organize hallway and oh, you could go for an in and out trail on the half miler to convince them they can really do a whole mile. But you'd have to have regular stops and water breaks <laughs> on the way. Okay. Snacks. Or to Oh. This one, this one is very important because if you're in the slow lane, which you will be, you have to learn to speak uh, with great articulation and slowness. Now, Michael has this down. 